Hi, fourth graders. Mrs. Oliver here. I'm going to go over a comprehension that matches your floppy book for this week. We are on Unit 3, Week 4. The story is called Words for Change, and you can find that on pages 182 through 185. Our text is a biography, and what that genre means is we're learning about somebody's real life. In this case, we are learning about a woman named Elizabeth Cady Stanton, and often these stories are told in chronological order, so they're told in order that the person lives. So we are introduced to her in her childhood when she's 11. They continue to talk about her as she ages and the things that she does, and at the end of the story, they talk about her passing and what was accomplished during her life. Biographies are often nonfiction, giving factual information, um, and we have dates and events that really occurred in history. Our comprehension strategy this week is to reread. So if I wanted to answer the question, how did the Seneca Falls Convention come about? I can reread the paragraphs on page 210 to find out information. When I reread, I learn that Elizabeth and Lucretia organized this important event. I can also use the evidence to show that they, we, they were determined that women um, that they recruited for this convention would get things done. The comprehension skill is author's point of view. Author's point of view is often um, an inference made by using evidence in the story. In this case, I want to know the thoughts words and actions of our main character Elizabeth. How our author talks about Elizabeth in our story is going to lead us to our author's point of view. So in the story the author tells us that Elizabeth thought women deserved the right to vote. Then through Elizabeth's words we know that Elizabeth wrote something called the Declaration of Rights and Sentiments. So within that um, declaration, she said that women should have the right to vote and also have the same rights as men. So not only did she have those thoughts, but she carried it out by putting it down in words. We know that she was a very active speaker um, so that leads us to Elizabeth's actions. Elizabeth traveled and spoke with the National Women Suffrage Association. So by forming that group, she was able to get her words um, across to more people. So our author chose to tell us what a really strong person Elizabeth was by including her thoughts, words, and actions. So I believe that the author's point of view is that Elizabeth paved the way for women to get the rights, get the right to vote. I believe that because the author chose to write these facts about Elizabeth, which show that she was very important in changing um, the laws at this time and the action she carried out to make sure that that happened. Although women did not get the right to vote until Elizabeth Cady Stanton passed away, the actions that she did prior definitely helped pave the way for women. I hope this helped you understand your story a little bit better, and I'll catch you next week.